The house is, was just my beginning. I was my first business, it was my first dream, and, uh, and the caller was right, so I didn't have to remember the address. When I saw it, I walked down here from downtown. Everybody thought I was so far away. And then when we, uh, we opened up, everybody came. One away street it was. There was few homes actually in this side, but it wasn't nothing important. There was not trees or bushland, but one time it was. It was a cottage um, territory here. People used to come here to go to the beach, just on the road. So I, I liked it to go a little bit out down of the center of the city because people had a little time, uh, five blocks basically, to stretch their legs and go for lunch. And in the evening it was easy to come by car, you could park anywhere. Actually, I remember we got so busy when I opened that I let people to wait on the car and I had someone, a busboy, with a basket with salami bread and a fiasco or Chianti go outside and say, you wait here, we'll call you. You're number one, you're number two, you're number three, you're number four, when your table is ready. There's still lots of memory in it, so I still feel I own it. I don't care who owns it. Uh, my other business is here, just two doors up in a half block. And I'm gonna keep an eye, make sure nobody screws it up. But uh, I'm happy that uh, they, everybody worked hard to save. I did, I kept it up, we done the roofs, we done a lot of inside, keep with the historical uh, um, life of the house. But I'm happy that it's kept, it's been taken care, it's carefully been moved and then brought back to the same lot. Come on. Great, bravo, governor, bravo.